Hey guys, my name is X Factor. I hope you're having a great day and I'm ecstatic to share with you some cutting edge technology brought forth by NVIDIA that's absolutely free and available to download in beta right now called RTX Voice. If you are an RTX card holder, this works flawlessly right now with a dozen or so apps and any mic out there. Doesn't matter. And it solves a twofold problem. Noise cancellation. I want you to pay attention with your eyes and your ears and what you see and what you should hear right now. You should hear me feverishly clapping, right? I mean, I'm giving it a good smack arena, right? Like the old Thursday nights of college. You don't hear it, do you? It blocked out 95% of it, didn't it? We've got the house wired. There's speakers. There's two gigantic speakers above me. I could turn those on. You wouldn't hear anything right now. It absolutely cancels the noise coming into the mic. And it doesn't matter the mic that you have. It doesn't matter. You can have a notebook running a built-in mic. You could have a PC like this. You could have a headset mic. It doesn't matter. Grabs it all. We're talking eating popcorn, mouth breathing, uh, ambulances going on in the background, houses burning down across the street, construction noise, pounding, people walking upstairs, kids running around. It grabs it all. It's absolutely unbelievable. And before this... To solve this problem, you had to buy hundreds of dollars of hardware, if not over $1,000 of hardware to build up noise gates with attacks and decays. And there's 8 million settings. This took me five minutes to set up, and there's really no settings. It's that simple. Now, the second thing it does, it's not just noise cancellation for your mic. It is noise cancellation for the other people that you're playing online multiplayers with. You're in a Zoom or a Skype call. You're in Discord. That right there is game-changing. As a content creator who plays 90% of their rounds with randoms, I cannot tell you the percentage of times people have a hot mic. Mom comes in the room raging because she found the homework folder. Mom comes in the room grounding little Timmy for a month. Dogs barking. Cats puking. I had it all happen. This blocks that as well. That's absolutely insane. Again, this has added value to NVIDIA RTX card holders. I'm going to show you how to set this up and what it really does because this is absolutely mind-blowing. Now, voice setup does have some requirements. You need to have an NVIDIA GeForce or Quattro RTX GPU. You need to be on driver 410.18 or newer and be on Windows 10. The supported apps right now that are working flawlessly, including what I've got it on right now, the streaming PC on OBS Studio, which this video is 100% created through. The only thing you see is through the capture card, the Elgato is my gaming PC. That's it. We've got OBS Studio, XSplit Broadcaster, XSplit Gamecaster, Twitch Studio. They just nabbed the four largest content creation pieces right there. Done. Ready to go. Discord. Pretty big program. Google Chrome, big, pretty big program. Battle.net, huge right now with the games that are popular on streaming platforms. Now, there are other programs it works with, a lot of your work from home programs, and there may be speaker output issues. Remember, this solves both your mic background noise and their mic background noise. So, a little caveat here. The output may exhibit some issues, and you could simply turn that off in the app super easy. All right, and it reminds you, turn off noise cancellation in a couple of these built-in programs, one, to have better quality through NVIDIA. NVIDIA wants to handle all of it. They don't want a third party handling some, handing it off to them. They want to do it all. It's super simple. Click this to download the app, which is going to be available in the link down below. Install it. Configure your RTX voice, select the mic and the speaker you want to use, turn on the background noise removal for mic and speakers. It is that simple. And this is the part that you might want to turn off depending on what program you're using. Now, I haven't used this on the gaming computer yet. This has 100% been used on my stream for over an hour last night and didn't have a single issue. The only small thing is, it can modulate sometimes. Your voice may sound funky for a split second, like a hundredth of a second, if something crazy is going on. And if you're a high emotion person, if you're 
a very loud, ecstatic person and you want it to pick this up. If you want to pick up whistling and screeching, you may want to turn it down or turn it off because you can't customize both of these on a slider. So we've already pre-downloaded this, okay? We're going to give this a go. We're going to click that. We're going to say yes. We're going to go back to my desktop. And it is, um, it's, it's absolutely extremely simple to download, okay, and install once you get the thing going, if it wants to go. There we go. So you're going to agree and continue. And this is, this is a much simpler install than a graphics card driver, okay? It's, it's, it's already done. You're going to open up the NVIDIA box, and you're basically going to fuddle around with your mic settings. I use a Roland VT3. It's a voice changer, but it does more than that. It allows me to take one mic, which is an Audio-Technica mic, and split it into two PCs. So that's the function of this voice changer. I simply select this, Remove background noise from my microphone. My default device, which will remove background noise from incoming audio. And that's done for the most point part right here. Now what you have to go into in each of your pieces of software, whether it's Battle.net, whether it's your in-game audio in Apex, you have to change your mic settings. So see where this says VT3? That still works, but that won't work with the bypass. You need to turn on the NVIDIA RTX voice on every program. Now, you can also see my voice meter here, right? You can see that. Going up and down my voice. It's not catching the clapping, is it? It's already working. It's that simple. So if I want to go into Call of Duty, if I want to go into Battle.net, I would then change it, again, the audio setting, into RTX Voice. You can change your default device in Windows, I believe, to RTX Voice, but absolutely double-check every piece of software you intend to use this on to RTX Voice. And then, of course, for the incoming, you can change it to RTX Voice as well. So if you want that processing on other people's mics, change it to the NVIDIA RTX voice. So if it's messing up, if you don't like it, you just simply change it back to your default mic. You don't even have to uninstall the program, okay? This is something that NVIDIA's kept quiet. This is something that they're going to be updating feverishly. This is a problem that's been in the industry forever, forever. I can't tell you how many videos in previous houses before I had a studio and a whole floor to myself where something created, the dogs are going nuts, firemen's coming down the road, and I had to stop and start a video because of the background noise. I cannot tell you how many times that's happened. Now I don't have to worry about that. I also don't have to worry about if I want to eat a thing of popcorn on mic while spectating a team in Call of Duty or Apex Legends just to finish out a round. Don't have to worry about the mouth breathing. None of it. This is absolutely free. It's absolutely genius. And it's available right now. There's going to be a link in the description. Now, there is rumor that you can roll it with older cards, but expect a larger performance loss and potential performance issues. If you're in the market for a new RTX card or an upgrade, I have a link in the description to EVGA. They have a three-year warranty, no questions asked. They have a buyback program as well. And you can save up to 3 to 10% at checkout using my code, depending on what card you're getting. They're being very generous with the discounts on GPUs right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching, hanging out, and we'll see you guys soon.